Hey guys, it's Ashley with AMJ Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to do this type of text. My daughter wants a shirt that says in my basketball girl era and this is the inspiration photo she gave me. Okay, first things first, I went to defont.com and downloaded retro groovy font. So if you're unfamiliar with how to download fonts, I will link the video below. Just go watch the video, follow along, download, install your fonts, and then come back to this video. Okay, so you've got retro groovy font. First step is to start our text. Okay, so we are going to write our text out, save this as a PNG image, which which means a PNG is a transparent background, you do, has no background. We're going to save it as a PNG and we're going to input it into a program. This specific image, the in my, is not curved along with the basketball mom and the era. So instead of typing in my and not type it all out, we're going, going to type only the ones that are curved. So I'm going to start typing. If I got here on the left side, I'm going to click the A. I'm going to start typing basketball in all caps. Basketball girl era. And we're going to change that by highlighting the whole text. Just right clicking and highlighting that text and going up here to the top left and typing in retro groovy font. And that's the font that you download on defont.com. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to come back over up here on our left and hit the selector tool, click them. We're gonna go up to the top and click path, object to path, and then we're going to go to object and ungroup. So these put these in individual groups. Okay, and you can see that basketball is smaller, mom and era are bigger, so we're going to make the width of basketball the width of girl and era. So basketball's width is 6.5, and if yours is, is in millimeters, make sure you drop down this box and change it to inches. Okay, so mine showed up 6.5. I'm just going to change it to just an even number and we'll do seven. And this will make seven. And then era will make seven. Okay, now we're going to line all these up by holding the shift key and selecting basketball girl and era. And then we're going to hit Control Shift A for a line. And you're gonna see that the line and distribute panel comes up on the right hand side. And we have them all selected and we're gonna line them up on the vertical axis. And then we're gonna see if the distribute works. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to drag a box around them by right clicking and dragging a box. It selects them all and I'm going to group them. So by hitting control G for group. We're going to save this as a PNG image. So we're going to delete our my inspiration and we're going to save this. So we're going to hit control shift E for export. And again, I'll go over this fairly quickly because I know I, th I think I say this in every video but we're going to make sure that the selection is selected not the page and you'll know this because this little box down here will show a gap around your uh, image that you created but if you select it and it fills this whole box then you know it's correct okay so that's correct we're going to go down here at the little folder and we're going to be able to pick which folder we're wanting it to save into. And we'll, I'm just going to save mine into documents. Save basketball error era one. And we're going to save it as a PNG. Okay, so now that it is saved, we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in wave effect. And right here, font name, wave effect online. And you're gonna see this screen. It's gonna pop up like this. It's gonna say upload an image. We're gonna click that. 
we're going to go to whichever folder that we saved our image in and we're going to open it okay and then here it says it has different presets for wave op wave options I know I've went through these and preset A is a good one so we're going to generate it and it's going to show us down here what it looks like and then you can go through all the presets I think preset C is a good one right click save image as and we're going to say basketball girl era PNG now we're going to go back to Inkscape we're going to pull in I just deleted that by hitting the delete key on my keyboard we're going to pull in our image that we just saved so we're going to control I which will import that's what that means import our wave and we're going to find our picture and open it and just say okay I am cutting this out of vinyl so I don't need an image I need a path so we this sometimes can get confusing but you can see down here it says image is selected so we need this to be a path so we're going to go up here to path and we're going to trace bit map. we're going to make sure that our multicolor is on up here in the, on the top right we're going to make sure in this drop down box the colors is selected this is a black and white image so we're only going to do two scans and we're going to make sure to remove the background now we're going to apply we're going to pull it off and we're going to delete the one that's the image it's hard to tell but if you look down here at the bottom it'll say image and this one will say path so we're deleting the image by hitting the delete button on our keyboard and let's pull our path over here let's put in the in my in my and let's change that I double click the font and I'm going to change that to retro groovy double click that and highlight it retro groovy okay I'm gonna um, made that smaller by holding control shift and uh, clicking the arrow and just moving it my mouse back and forth okay and now I'm going to select the in and I am going to make this you can see kind of started at the B and then ended in between the K so let's hold down the control shift and then pull that Okay, and then let's do the my, and it's in between the T and the B and the L's. And it looks kind of like it's longer, so I think they kind of, you can just play with this. Okay. I'm going to kind of bring mine out. You can see that there is a basketball overlay on the mom over here and we're going to do it over the on the girl. Union this whole thing together to make this one. So let's highlight all of these. So hold the shift down, the shift key on your keyboard and select the in my and our basketball. And we're going to go up here to path and union. Okay, so that makes it all one because we're going to cut this out as one. Now let's duplicate it, control D, and let's get the girl. We just want the girl so we can make our basketball overlay. So let's click the nodes and let's uh, zoom in a little bit by hitting the three on our keyboard and we're going to draw a box over everything except the girl text. 
because we're going to use that to make our basketball overlay. So we're just going to draw a box over and hit delete on our keyboard and just keep doing that. Okay, so now we've got just the girl. Okay, let's make that orange and I click over here on the dropper and I'm going to make it this orange. And if you don't like that orange, you can come down here at the bottom and select any of these orange. I'm going to go to Google and get our star sparkles, lightning bolt, and we can make our stars in Inkscape. And then we're gonna get some basketball lines. To Google and typed in star sparkle. We're just gonna find some star sparkles and right click and go down to copy and go back into Inkscape, right click and paste. Okay, now we need our lightning bolt. I went to Google, I typed in lightning bolt with one of these, so right click, copy, and go back to Inkscape and paste it. And Google and I typed in basketball lines. It's going to copy and then bring it back into Inkscape. Okay, now that we've got all of our little things, we're going to convert these into paths. And do you see how this looks a little jaggedy? We'll see if it works. So we're gonna go up here to path, trace bitmap, make sure we're on multicolor colors, which it should be because we just did all this. It's a black and white image, so two colors and remove background and apply. Okay. This is the image because we can tell we're gonna delete it. Okay, now we can delete some of these little starbursts and just place them one by one. Now let's do the same for our lightning bolt. We selected it. It's all black and white. It's all the same things and apply. And there's our lightning bolt. We'll delete this. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for our basketball lines. Apply and delete that. Okay, we want the filled lightning bolt. So we're gonna go over here to our node tools and then we're just gonna draw a box over the nodes and delete. Let's get closer and hit the number three on our keyboard. And let's click the nodes. I think I'm gonna get this one. So let's just highlight the ones that we don't want. And let's duplicate that by hitting Control E. And they had one here. And then they had one here. And then they had couple let's do that and then one here and then I'm gonna make a smaller one by hitting control shift and with my mouse just bringing it down a little bit okay and then they had another one by the lightning bolt okay now this is all these are black and so is my in my basketball era so we are going to union all those together because when I put this in my Cricut and I cut it out I I want all the black things to cut out as one. So then I can just weed it and put it on there and, and iron it on. Let's union all these together by holding the shift key and on the keyboard and selecting all my starbursts or star sparkles, whatever, and the font. And then we're gonna go up to path and union. Okay, so now they're one. And if you ever accidentally do this and it gets off of something and it's not in line, you can just hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z to undo. Okay, now let's fix our lightning bolt. Make it a little smaller. Make it stand up more by clicking it again and kind of rotating. And then let's put it in here. Okay, and it is orange too, so let's just drop our tool and click that orange. I think it kind of needs to be, there we go. Add some stars, 
by here on our left side, if you go down here and do the stars, it's selected up here on the top. It has the star selected. The corners are five, so that's correct. We're going to do control shift and make us a star. And then let's make us two stars. Okay, and then they have that. Let's click it and kind of rotate it. And then they have one here. And let's rotate it. Okay, now let's make the girl have our basketball lines in it. So, okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna drag our foot, our football, our basketball lines over. Let's make them smaller. Now let's make them a little bigger. Uh, and I just duplicated that by Control D, but every other letter make them a basketball have lines on it. Okay, so and you see where it enters into this eye? Let's chop that off. Just draw a square. over the basketball lines that hit the eye and we're going to hold down the shift key and select that and we're going to go up to object we're going to go up to path and difference and it cut that off right there okay so now I think those look good we're going to select our basketball lines by holding the shift key and selecting both we're in a path union them. Then we're going to select our girl text and we're going to go up here and path difference. Difference is going to cut it out. Okay, now we're going to take our girl and move it over and you see that it goes behind the other one. We're going to hit the page up button on our keyboard. Let's, let's save that. Just delete that. Okay, let's save our image. We're going to go up here to File, Save As, and we're, we can say Basketball Girl Era, and save that as a plain SVG, and save. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, and we're done. Or uh, have an image that you would like me to do or demonstrate, please let me know in the comments below. You guys have a great day and happy creating.